Geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... Rift Valleys. A rift is a crack in the ground formed by rocks being pulled apart. Some of the largest valleys on Earth are rift valleys, such as Lake Balkal in Russia, the deepest lake in the world, and Think Vatlovatan in Iceland. But how are rift valleys formed? They form due to extension, when rock is pulled apart. Take this section of crust. When we stretch it, extending it sideways, it does not suddenly split like this. Instead, as the crust is stretched, two parallel weak zones appear, bounding these two blocks of rock and a central block of rock. As the two outer blocks are pulled apart, the central block drops downwards. As the crust extends, fracture zones appear, resulting in the central block dropping downwards, the central hanging wall block moving downwards in relation to the upward movement of the foot wall, moving along these two parallel fracture zones, which are both normal faults. Our rifted rock could then be further stretched, resulting in the central block also moving further downwards, this drops central block known as a graben. In this cliff cross section, we see the two parallel normal faults. The central graben, which is dropped downwards in relation to the two foot walls as they moved apart. Wow! If we measure the width of the graben before extension happens and afterwards too, we see that the width of the valley has increased, proving that the area has undergone extension. In this section of extensional crust, we see the parallel normal faults appear, the graben appears and drops downwards. Over time, with further extension, we see half grabens forming either side of the graben, forming a rift valley. This famous image shows the largest rift valley in the world, here, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, a mostly submarine ridge that is over 16,000 kilometres long. It emerges from the sea at Iceland, where it can be explored at Thingvellir National Park, and also here at the bridge between two continents, the Graben very clear to see, with the Eurasian plate to the south and the American plate to the north side, each plate moving apart, extending the crust, forming the central Graben, which we can see has dropped downwards. That's amazing! Alternatively, during extension, the normal faults may not form in the same parallel orientation, so with further extension, we have a series of parallel Grabens form. The raised blocks between the Grabens being called horsts. As can be seen here in North America, the area marked by parallel aligned features, which appear like this in cross section, clearly showing the lowered Graben structures and the raised horsed blocks. Please do watch our Geology and a Jiffy videos about normal faults, strike slip faults, and reverse faults. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!